Hey boys and girls, today we are at Walling Bend Park at Whitney Lake. And when you come to the end of, oh I didn't catch the number, the county road, I'll put it up on the screen before I post this, you come to this intersection and you got two choices, because you got this road and you can go this way. If you take a right and go down there, it's a nice long drive. It's very pretty. And it's a fishing ramp, a boat ramp, and fishing and a few picnic tables. It's a bit of a ride. I mean, maybe a couple miles tops. Um, and I thought it was well worth the ride. Um, if you go straight ahead, you go into the camping area. And... So, if you want to camp, go gaily forward, and if you want to just picnic a boat, you go that way. So, you come in the entrance, and you drive down this road. It's not really that far. You travel, and, of course, you come to the signs that tell you the rules. Um, much like most of the others, this is a very nice campground. It's very clean and kept up well. And you keep down the road, it's one way, and you go down. As you can see, it's nice and grassy. Of course, it's still much, the grass isn't real green yet. But there are lots of trees that are starting to finally come out with leaves. And as you get down the road, some of this, the bathrooms which I'll tell you more about later. And there's a dumpster as you go on down to the boat ramp. And they have very fresh signs about their rules here, which I think is good. It means they keep in this place up, you know, up to date. Okay, here's the boat ramp, folks. Um, it looks pretty steep to me. I think, is that supposed to be a good thing? I like that they have a little pier that goes out so that you can go out <laughs> and get onto your boat afterwards, I guess. I don't know. I don't know too much about boats. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it's a nice view. It's very peaceful. Today is, is Monday. So the weekend campers have gone. I arrived here yesterday. And uh, some very nice people. As you can see, you can see part of the campground there. And give you a view around the lake. This is part of Wake, Lake Whitney. It's a very nice little lake. It's very clean. Um, it's nice to be able to look in the water and actually see rocks. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I know. Simple things please me. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, the water is so clear you can see where the the boat ramp goes down. It's very clear water. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, you can see even the rocks in the way of the boat ramp. Um, I'm up on the pier thing. I don't know what you guys call this. I always call it a pier. But if you, I mean, you can look down and see. Oh, I want to stick my feet in it. <laughs> it looks so inviting. And over there, this is the boat ramp. If you go over there, almost looks like there might be a little bit of a beach maybe some swimming I'm not sure um, but I know it looks very inviting <laughs> I want to stick my feet in so bad I just might <laughs> okay my feet are in it not very wet but um, it's cold but it feels so good well I just spoke to one of the locals and they said yes they do go swimming out here some but the big thing is going to Soldier's Bluff and cliff diving, jumping off the cliffs. It's very deep. Um, they say if you go down the rocks a little bit, all of a sudden it's a steep drop off. So be careful if you come here and decide to go swimming. Okay, here's the bathhouses. And I just learned I can zoom with this camera. So I'm going to start zooming more instead of everything looking so far in the distance. Okay. I talk about bathrooms and how it's time for me to show you one. This one is a very nice bathroom. 
I, at least I can show you the ladies room I'm not gonna well men's room door is open but I won't go there <laughs> if you go in this bathroom um, it's very very clean it's a uh, non flush toilet which means it's basically basically an outhouse and they have toilet paper um, there's even a hook to hang your clothes and the door shuts and actually locks all of these sites are set up for campers as well as tents. They all have a place to back into, um, which is nice if you have an RV. And all of the sites seem to have some kind of decent view. Even if you have neighbors, uh, you can still see the water quite nicely. Um, and this, I love this tree. I mean, can you see this tree, the, the age, the, the character in it? I mean, it's so old. It's a beautiful tree. I just can't get over the character in this tree. It's like, can you imagine how old this tree is? Can you imagine all the things this tree has ever seen? I mean, from the people, I'm sure there's been floods. I mean... Look at it. I mean, it's got so many stories, I'm sure. And everyone unique. Oh, almost looks like it's an eye there. With a smile. And another little eye there. Actually, there's a lot of faces if you look in this tree. I mean, I guess maybe I have quite the imagination. But it's like... This tree is so amazing. There's so much to it. So many stories. So many how many how many people have peed behind it? You know? <laughs> it's like how many people have it sh has it shaded for picnics? How many people have rested here before campers and gone fishing? Stayed here. It's just so peaceful. I'm sure you must hear the birds in the background. All the sites seem to have a number on their table. Of course, there's the cover. I don't know what they call them. The cover over the picnic tables. And it's fenced in. And as you can see, there's quite a, I want to say, quite a, a driveway to park your RV in. Some of them are shorter. Some of them are longer. And they all seem to have good entranceways because they're not, I mean, it's made for like one RV, I'd say, if you're doing RVs, as I am doing a car. Um, I mean, it's definitely wide enough for an RV and long enough. Um, there's Bob, and Bob is a mess right now. I'm trying to organize him. And, well, <laughs> I'm doing this instead of organizing right now, so can you tell? <laughs> um, there's the picnic table and the little cook stove over there that I used for my uh, St. Pa Patrick's Day dinner. But as you can see, I mean, these are quite wide. I mean, Bob's there and Bob doesn't even take half of one. So I'm sure most IVs could in, get in there very easily. And as I said, there's six of these sites. There's a sweet lady over there. She and I shared St. Patrick's Day dinner and had red farm hash for breakfast. And I mean, you can see how long it is to pull your rig in or have more than one car. You know, several people could camp here. Um, the picnic tables are all nice, and as I said, I mean, you got a view from every single site, and it's beautiful. This is definitely, uh, hmm, I gotta start doing a rating system here, folks. How about, um, I just can't get over the character in this tree. It's like, can you imagine how old this tree is can you imagine all the things this tree has ever seen? I mean, 
from the people. I'm sure there's been floods. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's got so many stories, I'm sure. And everyone unique. Oh, almost looks like it's an eye there. With a smile. And another little eye there. Actually, there's a lot of faces if you look in this tree. I mean, I guess maybe I have quite the imagination, but it's like, this tree is so amazing. There's so much to it. So many stories. So many, how many, how many people have peed behind it? You know? <laughs> It's like how many people have it sh has it shaded for picnics? How many people have rested here before campers and gone fishing? Stayed here? It's just so peaceful. I'm sure you must hear the birds in the background. All the sites seem to have a number on the table. Of course, there's the cover. I don't know what they call them. The cover over the picnic tables. And it's fenced in. And as you can see, there's quite a, I want to say, quite a, a driveway to park your RV in. Some of them are shorter. Some of them are longer. And they all seem to have good entranceways. Because they're not, I mean, it's made for like one RV, I would say. If you're doing RVs as I am doing a car. Um, I mean, it's definitely wide enough for an RV and long enough. Um, there's Bob. And Bob is a mess right now. I'm trying to organize him. And, well, <laughs> I'm doing this instead of organizing right now. So can you tell? <laughs> um, there's the picnic table. And the little cook stove over there that I used for my uh, St. Pa St. Patrick's Day dinner. But as you can see, I mean, these are quite wide. I mean, Bob's there and Bob doesn't even take half of one. So I'm sure most IVs could in get in there very easily. And as I said, there's six of these sites. There's a sweet lady over there. She and I shared St. Patrick's Day dinner and had red farm hash for breakfast. And I mean, you can see how long it is to pull your rig in or have more than one car. You know, several people could camp here. Um, the picnic tables are all nice. And as I said, I mean, you got a view from every single site and it's beautiful. I like the covers over these um, picnic tables because they've got like a hook, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know what they call it, the, the beams across you can hang stuff from. Um, I can easily hang um, bungee cords with like trash bags or clothes or whatever. Um, I mean, I have a little broom, so I mean, I would br I dust, it, dust it off really good first, but um, I like this campground. It has a lot of nice things. I love the toilet, the bathrooms. Uh, the only drawback is it does not have running water. I had to drive back to uh, Soldiers Bluff Campground, which I don't know, maybe five, six miles away, and fill up with water there. There are three campgrounds on Lake Whitney. Uh, this one, Soldiers Bluff, and I can't remember what the other one's called. Um, hopefully I will be able to do a video on all of them sooner or later. Um, but this is definitely a nice campground if you want quiet. I guess the weekends can be a little loud, but I mean, you're going to expect that everywhere. And the constable just came through. I don't know whether the person's going to take a bathroom break or is just inspecting things. But it's nice to know there's some patrolling through here. And Pearl says, peace out, babies. <laughs>